a thousand subscribers kind of crept up on me. Good evening, I'm Reginald Hardy. I'm here to celebrate Yogi Yogg's gaining of a thousand subscribers. This is mostly thanks to Blunder Nation taking on his tutorials as he doesn't do any of the things likely to get you YouTube success, such as uploading at least once a week or having consistent branding on his thumbnails. Thanks also goes, of course, to anyone who saw through his idiosyncrasies and subscribed anyway. He even thinks he can go for a morose, world-weary tone on what's supposed to be a celebration video. You see, he thought YouTube was going to be the great short film festival in the sky, when in actual fact it's daytime television, requiring you to put out quantity rather than quality, with the vast majority of videos consisting of a person talking about a thing with some stuff on screen, as opposed to sketches or narrative film, animated or otherwise. I was created for a lead role in a loose adaptation of the Russian folk tale Death and the Soldier. I might be given a Russian accent and a corresponding name, but you want to hear Yog Yog attempt an accent about as much as you want to hear him sing. Yes, it will be a musical. It's not like everyone would have a Russian accent, only myself, and despite it being my film, I'll be talking the least of anyone. I've already said more words than I get in the entire script. It was nearly unnecessary to give me a set of 19 replaceable mouths based on 8 phoneme shapes and 6 expressions, though the 10th forehead will come in handy. Well that concludes this video. I think it went rather well. It was certainly a better idea than Evie and Evie, which would have been a tribute to the RuPaul's Drag Race contestant Evie Oddly and her three-eyed, three-breasted incarnation crab walking across the logo, showing off the powers of Blender's new render engine, Evie. I'm sure everyone would rather be looking at a grizzled old mock stop-motion puppet, and I'm sure there's nothing else in all of pop culture that shares the name Evie. Yeah, we're a beast to gargle.